Hey everybody, this is Mr. Wistar again. This is going to be our first lesson in our new unit on uh, using arrays. Um, in this lesson we're going to talk about how to use the ArrayList class, which is a um, Java class that you can use to store things in an array. Uh, we're going to talk about what an array is and how it's implemented using ArrayList, and then we're going to go through all of the basic array functions that you would need and how to do them with an ArrayList. So, what is an array? Um, your book has a pretty short and I think incomplete definition. It says it's a sequence of values of the same type. Um, but I think you need to know a little more than that. When I talk about arrays with my students, I always tell them that they're a contiguous, homogeneous, aggregate data structure. So let's break down what that means. Data structure is just an object that you use to hold a bunch of data. It's easy enough. Contiguous means that all of the um, data in one array is stored in consecutive locations in memory, um, like train cars. They're all stored together. Homogeneous, um, just like it means in normal use, means that they all have to be of the same type. And aggregate means that they get stored together. So essentially, an array is a data structure that allows us to store a whole bunch of things of the same type all together in the same place in memory. Um, it's just useful when you have uh, a bunch of uh, objects of the same type and you need to collect them all together, like a list, um, which is why we're going to be working with a class in this lesson called ArrayList. Now as far as ArrayList goes, an ArrayList is a special kind of array called a packed array, which really just means that if you think of uh, an array as being a whole bunch of boxes, like mailboxes, where you can put stuff, a packed array means that um, there's no empty boxes, um, that uh, all the data is stored together in a row. Um, it's a class, as I mentioned before, so you're going to need to use methods to work with it. It can uh, grow uh, or shrink dynamically, so you never have to worry about what the size is. It always gets to be just as big as it needs to be. Um, and just like Scanner, Random, some of the other classes we've used, you have to import it. Uh, it's in the java.util class, or library. Okay. The syntax for creating a new array list is pretty much the same as creating another kind of object with one important difference. And if you look at the syntax there, I think you'll see what it is. Um, remember, array lists have to be homogeneous, and you actually have to specify what type they're going to hold. And you do that by putting them in angle brackets. That's greater than, less than. Um, so in this case, for example, we're creating an array list called shapes, and that uh, array list is only going to hold rectangles. Um, notice that there's parentheses at the end of this when you say new array list have to put parentheses because you're calling the constructor just like any other kind of object that you would create. Once you've created an array list, um, the way to put things into the array list is by using a method called add. Um, you just say list name dot add and then in parentheses the object that you want to use. Uh, make sure obviously that you use the right type. If you don't use the right type then your program will crash. Um, whatever you add is going to get added on to the end of the list. Remember it's a packed array so it's just going to take it, find the end of the list, stick your new item in there. Um, once you've put things in an array list, if you want to access them to, say, find out what the uh, value that's stored uh, in a certain slot is, then you use the method called get. Um, remember, just like when we were using with, working with strings, um, the objects in, that are stored in an array list uh, get stored starting at object number zero. Um, so if you want to access the fifth element in your list, you have to say list.get parentheses 4. Um, that can be a little hard to remember at first, but you'll get the hang of it. Again, make sure that um, the object that you're going to uh, assign it to, if you're going to assign it like this example here, matches the type that's in the list or else um, you'll get an error. As far as removing things from the list, um, Again, we're using methods because it's an array list. Uh, in this case, you say the list name dot remove, and then you put the uh, position or what we call index of the item that you want to remo remove in the parentheses. Um, one point to make with both get and remove: if you put an index in the parentheses that doesn't exist, your program will crash. So if you've got five things in your list and you put ten in the parentheses, your program's going to crash. So you just have to kind of be aware of that. Um, one thing you can do to prevent that is by using the method called size, um, which is a method which will return an int equal to the number of things that are actually in the list. So if you use size and you're careful, you should never have your program crash like that. Um, there's a ton of methods in the ArrayList class. I would highly recommend that you go to the Java API, look them up, 
see which ones you think you might want to use. I've included a couple more here, which you can re uh, um, you can skim, but uh, you know, if you feel like you need to do something that you don't know how to do yet, check the list to see if there's a method that'll do what you're trying to do for you. Okay, let's take a look at an example. So we go into Java. Um, I've imported my ArrayList class, so I'm ready to go. I'm just going to make an ArrayList to hold strings. So if I make an ArrayList, I have to put the type in parentheses. Um, we'll call it names, and we'll say that's a new array list like that. Um, so that's my syntax for creating a list. Now, if I want to add things to my list, um, I just use the add method. So if I say names.add, Roger, names.add, Marcy, names.add. One thing I'll point out to you with an array list class, which is kind of nice, is if you go to print your list, it'll actually print pretty nicely. So let's see what happens when you run that. See, it prints it out like that. I mean, it's not fancy, but it gets the job done. All right, as far as the other functions that we went over, um, if we want to access a very specific item in our list, we can just use the get method. So I'll go back to my print statement and say names.get parentheses one. Now remember, 0, 1, that's actually the second element in my list. So if I run my program now, I'm going to get Marcy. And as far as remove goes, if I do that, and then I print out my list, watch what happens. So we've removed Marcy from our list. Again, because this is a packed array, um, the elements are going to kind of shift over to plug the hole. So now we just end up with Roger and Ben. So in this lesson, we've introduced the basic concept of an array, and we've talked about what it's used for, storing a whole bunch of things of the same type together so you can access them easily. Um, and we've talked about the syntax for creating an array list and then adding, accessing, and removing things from the list. All right, you're all set.